www.healthcmi.com. The Healthcare Medicine Institute. Acupuncturist Continuing Education Online. And welcome everyone to healthcmi.com's fourth webinar of the year on dietetics. Uh, we've also featured the pelvic inflammatory disorder webinars. A lot of what we'll be featuring today with Professor Jeffrey Pong, who I'm honored here to have today. He's department chair and founding of the curriculum of Five Branches University in dietetics, herbology, clinical medicine, and um, actually many other aspects of the school. He's been very instrumental. I'm, I'm honored to have Professor Pong here today. He's an expert in dietetics, but also one of his favorite hobbies. Uh, here's our book that we did together. Uh, a lot of the material comes from the book. Uh, you can uh, get Chinese Medicine Dietetics Volume 1 on Amazon.com. Uh, but remember that uh, Volume 2 will be coming out next year. Also look forward to our video courses coming out later in the year. Uh, today we'll be covering obst obstetrics and gynecology. Uh, we'll try to get right over to that slide. Thank you, Jeffrey, for coming today. I'm yeah, so happy welcome. to have you here today. Mm -hmm. Remember, afterwards, you can go online and uh, take the quiz uh, and get a certificate of completion, as always, uh, in uh, healthcmi.com courses. So uh, just go to www.healthcmi.com and uh, select your uh, login with your username and password. If there's any questions, just Again, email us for help at info at healthcmi.com. We'd be happy to help you, uh, but that can automatically give you your quiz and certificate of completion for your CEU and PDA credit. Uh, today, uh, we'll start off uh, with uh, gynecology and uh, obstetrics. Uh, Jeffrey, is this a good slide for us to start on today? Yeah, seems pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to turn it over to Jeffrey for a little bit. Okay, uh, actually the, the Chinese um, medicine dietetic, uh, the, um, like before we mentioned, the mostly the people who will be uh, get benefit for uh, the dietetic, one will be the <clears throat> elderly, because elderly uh, people will be what, uh, you know, the, uh, actually in the TCM we say the elderly will be similar to like child, so then all the it digestion is uh, system is kind of weak. So then um, also, you know, like children, they like it to be had, you know, the good taste. Uh, then they put the food and the medicine together. But now we talk about the, um, the third group of the people uh, that will be really can be beneficial by the uh, dietetic. Um, why then? Because we're talking about the GYN OBS or the female problem uh, because in the Chinese medicine mostly the problem the, uh, because the, for the uh, character of the female because the female, uh, you know, especially after they had uh, like a pregnant delivery the baby so then the um, blood is easy to get deficiency or injury or get blood stasis. So that's why uh, we say uh, actually in the um, uh, in the general people, um, many people to buy you know something like uh, uh, dietetic herb from the supermarket. So then they will be a uh, <clears throat> large number of the people, whatever they have sick or no sick or just want to be uh, prevention, or just put, you know, the body uh, healthier. So then they will be like uh, daily basics to be, you know, uh, to get the dietetic treatment. It doesn't matter what time. Like uh, before, you know, the menses, patient can be had like, you know, very common things will be like PMS. But during the menses, then, you know, the uh, people will be lost a lot of blood. Or after the menses, same thing, because the chi and blood division, then they can be developing something like uh, uh, general weakness. Of course, if the female ladies, if they, you know, during the pregnancy, 
or after delivery, the baby, the body will be had the big change in. So then the uh, baby take away, you know, a lot the chi and blood from the mother. So that's what the uh, uh, important time uh, we need to be um, make the you know the body back to the balance. So now uh, we will be talks about, you know, one by one uh, to be see what we can do when the, you know, uh, the uh, patient or general public, uh, when they had the, you know, GYN, OBS, you know, problem or imbalance. So then uh, some simple uh, dietetic treatment, it can be make the body back to the balance. So, uh, for example, first one, uh, we can see the slide. Uh, it's very <coughs> common problem related we call cold uterus, or whatever we talk about the uh, uh, kidney, young deficiency. Why then, like we mentioned, because the female, the, um, the character, because they, uh, every month, you know, lose the blood, so then, you know, during the menstruation, or, you know, like we talked about after the delivery, the baby, so then we be lost a lot of blood. Then the blood and chi is had to be depend on each other. So then lose the blood, then we be, the patient will be all, of course we be, uh, chi will be deficient, then also young deficient. So on that condition, if we, uh, actually the patient can be all, you know, they diagnosis by themselves too. It's very simple, like, you know, they feel cold easily, then, you know, the body, like especially the forelimbs, uh, you know, touch is feel cold. So that's what, the, of course, we will be also do the pulse and tongue, then, like, a, you know, tongue will be pale, the pulse will be deep and weak. So those group of the patient uh, need to be, uh, we call, you know, to warming the uterus. So uh, the dietetic things is basic on the TCM diagnosis too. So people in the general public, they not really exactly know. Uh, they just heard about, oh, okay, uh, you know, def uh, deficiency, we ne just need to tonify. But we need to know uh, what kind of deficiency, then what kind of dietetic treatment will be good. Like this slide, we talked about that kind of uh, cold uterus. If patient who after delivery the baby, so then after we take that uh, dietetic um, treatment, uh, then they can be, you know, more uh, faster to recovering. Or some, even though they didn't have permanent yet, but then if they had the uh, cold uterus, I think that would be very difficult to get the pregnancy. So then uh, that would be the... Uh, good to be like a daily basics to be uh, use it that uh, formula to help. And another effect, uh, we talked about the season too. Uh, the season will be what is matched to the dietetic treatment. So that, uh, actually that recipe, uh, people take it not only just for the female. Uh, in the um, China or Taiwan or those kind of area, uh, when winter coming, uh, that actually, that recipe is for people who want to be prepared uh, for the winter, uh, to be, you know, not injured by the cold. Mm -hmm. So then the powerful herb, uh, one will be Dangui, I think everybody know that herb, that will be like, we had another name called the best friend of the female, Dangui, uh, that Shengjiang, that just ginger. Okay, the raw ginger. But the third things that will be important also, because Dangui and Shengjiang, they will be adjust the herb, okay? So then we want to make the taste better and make the function stronger. That will be had to be used at the, we call yang rou. Uh, actually, that's what the lamb meat. But the lamb meat, uh, we need to be uh, know too uh, in the market. Uh, in the same way, I think they only just selling something like, uh, you know, lamb chops, or they are, they are not actually 
when we say that uh, uh, lamb meat, it should be belong to uh, uh, what goat, goat meat. Okay, why then? Because that will be the character. Uh, so that's what that uh, slide say. Lamb meat uh, actually is not exactly uh, accurate uh, because uh, uh, if you know the supermarket, that kind of lamb meat, they are very soft and uh, easy to like barbecue. Uh, but you know the um, uh, it's not that strong tone for the young, and also because the, they had more fat, so that will be it's actually is not very good meat. Jeffrey, okay. you're saying that domesticated lamb meat is not as good as a more wild, gamey type of lamb Yeah, meat. yeah. And also, we talked about the goat. Much it's more the, warming. Yeah, it's yeah. Type, of the, uh, type of the lamb, okay? Right. <laughs> but they are, uh, because they are like deer, uh, they more, you know, on the mountain. Right. Okay, so then the meat is kind of uh, uh, lean, but of course they're more tough. That's what people don't like it. Why then? Because uh, usually when we cook the lamb meat, like a Western style, if we put the lamb, you know, like barbecue or just put the pan to be, you know, to be sauteed a little bit or, you know, barbecue, so then they can be able to, you know, chew and good to eat, okay? But the goat meat will be what is tough, okay? The skin actually, even though can eat too, but they are kind of like, uh, uh, you know, uh, tough and difficult to chewing is um, uh, it had to be different cook way, okay? So then uh, all the barbecue or sauté is not applied for the goat meat. Mm. It had to be, actually, um, the goat meat probably is difficult to buy it in the same way, I guess. The uh, Asian markets have goat meat, yeah. but also the Mexican markets, because oh, goat meat is traditional okay. food in that region of Mexico. So yeah. how about uh, whole food? I have not seen it. We see lamb shank, lamb oh, chops. Oh, uh, that would be not a good way. Not as good. Mm -hmm. So you're saying the toughness yeah, the of toughness. the lamb, the leanness of the lamb yeah, is the a leanness. yang quality. Yeah. And of course, the fat is the yin quality. So again, yeah. keeping with Chinese medicine theory. Yeah. So not so warming the lamb, more neutral uh, to slightly warm. Uh, it's still warming, but not as good as, goat. not as warm as like uh, uh, goat. Right. Okay. Because goat to be the character really look like deer. They are just running on the you know mountain or something. But mm -hmm. the like the lamb, I think they just keep it in the fat land and to feed the you know uh, they just uh, really move slowly or things like that. <laughs> Comparison with the goat. We talked about uh, a lot of the issues with domesticated foods, uh, yeah. not just animals but plants. And uh, one of them came up, of course, it's a sm slight aside, was with duck. For example, mm -hmm. domesticated duck can be very fatty. And then when you make the Peking duck, you yeah. fry it. So instead of being cooling waterfowl, having that cooling property, it loses the property entirely in the Peking duck dish. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's, of course, not as healthy a lean meat. Uh, so you're saying now that the, the lamb... Not quite the punch we want, but can mm -hmm. be used. Mm -hmm. For dangwe, do we use the slices or do uh, pressed? Or uh, actually, uh, you know, slices is okay, it's okay. Uh, because that will be. Um, it, but the you know people buy it in the uh, market. They can buy it, uh, you know, the whole one. Because usually when we use it, that kind of uh, lamb meat uh, or we say goat meat, uh, um, usually we be use a double boiling method. So then they will be cooked for a long time. So the then we will be what, uh, you know, even though the whole piece of the dangue is not the problem. Oh, for the dangue we double yeah. boil, but not yeah, the yeah. goat or with... Uh... Oh, the goat will be just, uh, uh, we generally will be used the, um, of course the goat usually is a leaner, uh, not that fat, but right. this still some will be have fat. We need to take out all the fat. Then we put the, you know, like peas, peas, okay? Then we be with the you know dangue and ginger and hung jiao. Then you put it in the double boiling. Then so double cook it for a couple of hours. All right, okay. Then the soup will be very good taste <clears throat> and it's very strong uh, tonic. Actually, I can give you one of the um, uh, example. Mm -hmm. when I taught that uh, recipe. So then uh, usually uh, when we, every semester is uh, when ending, so we be do the potluck. So we be encourage the student to do some kind of recipe. Then they bring to the 
uh, you know, like a dinner uh, on the potluck on the end of the semester. Right. There's the one dietetics, the, traditional dietetics yeah. potluck with <clears throat> Professor Pang is always a treat. Yeah. Then one of the students will be used that recipe, but that time uh, is on the summer. Uh, <laughs> in the summer. <laughs> little off season, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So then uh, some um, student uh, took that tea, I mean, what that soup is feel very good, you know, the taste is good. Uh, uh, actually, you know what the idea, because the whatever the lamb meat or whatever the goat meat, usually they have something like a special, you know, kind of the smell, right? Right. Uh, we call what, what kind of smell called that? <laughs> special kind of the, like... I have to uh, think about that. Too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's only the lamb will be more uh, than that. the, you know, like beef or right. pork will be not had that much. Very the, distinct. Yes. Yeah, distinct. <clears throat> then, uh, because the tang and ginger... Uh, hung jiao or something, if you cook together, so they can be minimized, that kind of uh, uh, smell or taste. So they make the taste better. So then what the, some students will be eat that quite a bit. I mean, a little bit larger amount. Restorative. Yeah, okay. to, because they like it, that taste. Or maybe student syndrome, working too hard at school. <laughs> <laughs> then later, you know what happened? Uh, very uh, immediately, in fact, just... Uh, you know, next day or a couple hours later, then some uh, student uh, report that say, uh, you know, the mouth has something like, uh, uh-huh. uh, uh, look like a mouth sore or whatever. A little too bit. hot. Yeah, yeah. Too hot. Yeah. So then we be too hot. Okay. But um, same thing too, like in the market, um, in a restaurant, uh, they had that kind of dishes available, uh, you know, when you order. So then we be what? Generally speaking, people will be avoid to order that uh, in the summertime. So that's why uh, actually that cold meat uh, in the summertime, like a Ranch 99, sometimes they just put it in the refrigerator. Because not that many people want to buy it. But when winter, winter time, so then will be what all those cold meat will be, you know, put on the outside. Then people can be just, uh, you know, I mean, you know, put in the glass. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah. And uh, let's review this. Yeah. Uh, so whole dangui, not really the sliced here. Goat meat. They call it chopped up. If you dangui to. Dangui to. Yeah. Uh, ginger, shenjiang. Yeah. Uh, then you can add a little da zhao. Hong zhao. Uh, hong zhao. Hong zhao better. Hong zhao better because for the blood. Hong zhao is more warmer and also, you know, more tonified the blood. And anything else? Some pepper if you want to warm it yeah, up. Yeah, if you want to. So, but that's. You know, Egg it, spicing. Yeah. So beet bar, something, yeah, something. Yeah, you can. Okay. Uh, so some then, people flavor it with clove. Some people flavor it yeah. with mint. Mm-hmm. Uh, one's warming, one's cooling, like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that will be what? Uh, then uh, actually uh, in the winter time, you not necessary that recipe is not necessarily the female. Everybody can share that. But uh, in the summertime, like we mentioned, there will be uh, certain people still can take that. But then uh, for the mostly people, if they are not really that much uh, young deficient, right. so there will be uh, can be a side effect. Okay. okay? So that's what the, uh, we talked about, the mostly popular, um, that kind of soup. So in like Taiwan, like I mentioned, in the, um, uh, China, then in the winter time, then you know, many restaurants will be uh, make that uh, dish available uh, to you know available to people to order. It. A nice seasonal yeah, to keep you yeah. warm, mm-hmm. especially in colder regions. Mm-hmm. Also, yeah. Okay, then another recipe uh, like on the slide we mentioned that will be more specific specific uh, for you know the female who had uh, deficiency. Leucaria. Mm. Yeah. Leucaria had many different times too. Okay, so then if the you know uh, uh if they are damp heat kai, that meaning what the uh, Leucaria with the uh, more yellow color, more sticky, uh, or smelly those things, uh that would be um you know, we need to use it something else. Okay? But we talked about deficient kind of Leucaria should be what? Like a kind of thing you know, like an egg white, okay, it's not that much smelly. Mm-hmm. So that will be what? Um, we can be used at that simple 
recipe uh, to be have that. So we call actually in the pinyin we call bai dai. That meaning why kind of the you know the bell channel problem or things like that. So that will be what we will be use the uh, black chicken. Okay, the black Uji, chicken. Okay. And so by dai by uh, by wai, is like why you know and dai, dai is for like the dai, dai mai. channel dai mm-hmm. mai or mm-hmm. the girdling channel the bell yeah. channel. Yeah, that meaning more uh, regulating the rukaria. You know the discharge thing. And we can see the black chicken here uh, again, mm-hmm. the darker color, like the kidneys. Uh, mm-hmm. In the five element system mm-hmm. and more tonify. Yeah, because you know the uh, white kind of the uh, leukaria, uh, leukaria. So then we'll be usually related with kidney and uh, spleen yang deficient. Mm. So then, um, how we do that? Okay, uh, then uh, how walking? Okay, uh, because the, we mentioned the black. Chicken, there will be what is more, you know, entering to the kidney channel. Then the lianzi, um, that actually is uh, related with Ashingen category in mm. the TCM. So then will be what? Uh, because uh, we had like, a, uh, one will be what is take care of the root things, that will be like a wuji. Then we need to be have something to be uh, treat the symptoms. Okay, that is like the lens. So wuji, okay. the root tonification mm-hmm. and strengthening, mm-hmm. and then of course the <clears throat> stringent property on the symptomatic, so root mm-hmm. and symptom. Yeah. So uh, beside that, uh, we just put that uh, like lens, you can be as something else too. For example, like yi uh, yi ren. Mm. Yeah, like qian shi. Yeah, why then? Because uh, if you know the idea, so that's what the uh, you know the recipe. You can put many combination, because uh, we need to fit for what's the uh, uh, syndrome we want to treat. So uh, like a chance there will be similarity like a lotus seed. Right. Okay. Then um, the um, yi ran there will be what is for the dampness. And okay. it's a very mild <clears throat> flavor too, which makes yi yeah. ren very popular mm-hmm. in dietetics. Sometimes it's made into a porridge or kanji mm-hmm. for benefiting the skin. People yeah. like to take it in the morning every day. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yi ren is popular in the dietetics department because, again, yeah. a lot of what we're using is mild flavors. Yeah. And so uh, black silk chicken yi ren uh-huh. and qian shi. Uh-huh. Uh, right from the herbal mm-hmm. medicine yeah. department to mm-hmm. achieve uh, this mm-hmm. formula. So best way to prepare this, Jeffrey, uh, uh-huh. for deficiency type leukorrhea. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So we will be just like, uh, you know, the wuji is the mainly is tonified. Then we can come by with something like uh, uh, we talked about the astringent things. Mm-hmm. Or before we mention, you know, the qian shi or yi ren, if you understand them, we can be also at something like a bai zi is good too. You know the uh, something angelica, mm-hmm. okay? Or uh, if they are very deficient, you also okay to put dangui too. Dangui. Yeah. So baijiu has a stronger flavor now. Yeah. 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 So then if you put the baijiu, probably you don't need to be put the dangui. Yeah, a little. Yeah. A because little. Dang, baijiu actually is will be mainly uh, we talked about uh, for the dampness, cold got the dampness. Uh, we use it for the sinus. Mm. But actually, we can be also used for the... Yeah, Baijia, excellent for sinus yeah. and non-toxic, <clears throat> but also... But Luperia too. Yeah, and uh, has a... Again, we just need to control the flavors a little, mm-hmm. so not combining with Dangwe uh, for the Luperia formula. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is unlike the uh, first formula. Are we double boiling this, or is this straight uh, Yeah, generally speaking, we say uh, in the uh, those kind of uh, tonified soup, uh, generally, double boiling is the best way. It's just like uh, in know, general. Yeah, yeah okay. in general, because like cooking, uh, we talks about if you know you uh, just boiling uh, for the normal method. Then what's the problem? That because the, it's good, but then will be because when during the boiling procedure, then you know the uh, the soup will be evaporated. Okay, then uh, then you can see, you know, uh, you can smell it. Uh, like a whole area will be had that kind of herb, the flavor. Then why then? Because they can be just say the herb, the essential oil or whatever the, you know, the element. 
then they will be what uh, spread to the into the air. That will be lost something vile of the earth. So then, or food too. So I think even though Western cooking method, uh, you be can can be have some that kind of similarity method. You know, like double boiling. Because you double boiling, you put the material food, put it in the container, then you uh, double boiling for a while, because the container had lead over there. So then, all the essential oil, or you know the uh, good. Element is still remain in the uh, container, so that's why that kind of method. It doesn't matter uh, to be cook any kind of the food. When you go to like a restaurant, too, they put the uh, container, the double boiling container, uh, to the customer front of the customer. Then they open the lid, so then you know the uh, people can be smell it. Oh, so strong, you know that uh, uh, that food uh, mm. taste and the smell. Okay, so that's why if we can uh, generally all those kind of dietetic uh, soup treatment recipe, uh, probably use the uh, double boiling method is the best. Okay, because they can be uh, maximumly to be. Uh, to be retained, all those kind of good, you know, uh, things. The in essence the, of the yeah, herbs the essence is not, in the, and, the, and the volatile yeah, oil the soup, too, including the food too. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. uh, so double boiling, just as a general rule, uh, mm -hmm. is an excellent move. And, and mm -hmm. again, this one, uh, this formula was uh, using the black chicken, mm -hmm. uh, which is available in Asian markets. Jeffrey, a lot of people don't have access to black chicken, mm -hmm. so chicken so, is warming. And yeah, so then uh, we probably okay to use uh, something like, uh, you know, like a gam, uh, you know, chicken or something, another, you know, uh, or organic chicken, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, because, you know, talks about the chicken, um, Probably people, you know, not really exactly know because in the market <coughs> now the chicken is used the uh, something like uh, <coughs> industrial method to be raising. It will be similar to like manufacturing. Okay, they put the chicken is not the uh, uh, you know uh, in the small cages, so yes. then they just feed the food or you know to be yes. uh, use it uh, automatic. You know, the bell, you know, to be transferred, the food and the egg or things like that. So uh, that would be what is not a good uh, uh, chicken. Remember when we talked about, uh, you know, the individual food, we say the, uh, the chicken uh, is good food, very good. But now, you know, actually now the reality, uh, because the... Uh, the <clears throat> the chicken farm the method will be now actually unfortunately they kind of uh, like a manufacturing method is, is uh, go to everywhere in the uh, in the world why then because they use it that kind of method will be make the chicken uh, you know grow faster because they use it also the uh, like a hormone or something mm -hmm. okay and uh, you know they feed them you know something like uh, um, you know the food is not really organic. That's what the, make the uh, chicken the taste. It's okay because they can be more like tender. Like now, you every you know fast food, whatever you know, can have give or chicken or any kind. Okay, McDonald's or any kind. So then they will be just put in deep fry. Then will be uh, easy to be eat, juicy. But if you know the organic chicken, uh, they the meat will be more tough. There will be a little bit more difficult to chewing, so then actually people not really like it, okay? If they use it, choose that kind of, like a deep fry, those kind of method. But if we use it, uh, like uh, we mentioned, the double boiling method, okay? Or whatever we just say, you know, the boiling with the herb. So then that kind of chicken, the meat uh, will be, uh, even though they be full stuff, but then after they cook, that they will be uh, more, uh, tender uh, can be eat after that long processing to cooking.
So uh, that's what we mentioned. Uh, when we want to be get the benefit, the recipe is good, but we need to be very control. You know the ingredient. You know, like meat. What kind of meat we need to be, you know, carefully to select. Okay, that will be very strong, uh, you know, factor to be exact to the uh, how the effective, you know, those kind of uh, uh, how to you know benefit to the patient. So that's what the main thing too. When we do any kind of food treatment, all the food. You know, we need to carefully to be so l a t So that's <clears throat> that's that's a, a huge concern is that we want to give that nice chicken uh-huh. uh, to people the wuji, but unfortunately, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. You know, we have to think about purity and not yeah. causing some kind of toxic problem for the patient. Mm-hmm. Also, yeah. So we and let's just say you know like free uh, lunch, you know, chicken or something or organic chicken something, and otherwise we waste, you know. Uh, our energy, or you know the uh, herb uh, to be you know cook that, uh, if they are not get that much benefit, they waste our time. Okay, you know waste our energy too. So that's what we uh, mentioned. The food uh, when we select that to use it for dietetic, uh, had to be uh, carefully to be select. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> next slide, uh, we will be talking about uh, that will be very uh, much large of the people will be suffering from that uh, disease. Uh, we call menopausal. So uh, menopausal in the old time, like in the Shang Han Lun, uh, they put the name is called. Bai He Bing. What's the meaning then? Bai is like a hundred. He is something like uh, uh, you know uh, match or fit. So what's that hundred match or fit? <laughs> Because people know that uh, now, like in the modern, you know, uh, GYN and OBS, then the doctor say, oh, you know, you had the uh, menopause because the Patient, you know the body, the hormone, uh, you know the problem. So then they can developing. Uh, some is the physical problem, but some is the mental problem. Okay, uh, for example, like uh, uh, they can be, you know, physical. They will be uh, very common. Will be like heart f l u s h e r sweating. Okay, um, you know, feel uh, uh, low energy. Or just feel don't right, okay. But the mental part is sometimes is even worse for the patient. Mm. What's that then? Some will be like a, uh, some symptoms is uh, just say they get insomnia. It's very difficult to treat, okay, because that insomnia is uh, come from the menopause. And some even worse, depression. Okay, so that's why you know in the Western, uh, I saw many patients when they get the, you know, like uh, um, um, menopausal problem. On the before, it's always use it uh, like a hormone replace treatment. But lately, uh, for the past uh, you know ten or fifteen years, uh, because the new study say that kind of you know the hormone replace. Treatment it might be cause cancer, mm-hmm. so now we be mostly recommendation. You know the uh, the patient will be start to take that, or they can take you know short time. Okay, it cannot take for a long time, but on the before it's different idea. They just ask the patient, you know, just take it until you know. <laughs> Uh, until you know, uh, probably even to 90 y e a r s o l d there is still recommendation to take that. Okay, so uh, very important here is a distinction <clears throat> between uh, standard hormone replacement therapy mm-hmm. and phytoestrogens, mm-hmm. which are hormones found naturally in foods like shanyao and things like this. So the mm-hmm. diaskira yam 
very popular, but remember that the phytoestrogens have kind of opposite effect of the estrogenic effect because they have a different action in the body and there isn't necessarily a link between cancer and the phytoestrogens. So if the body is taking in excess phytoestrogens internally, it doesn't need to produce even natural estrogens as much and may actually have cancer reducing properties from the phytoestrogen properties. So keep that in mind that when people are taking soy supplements uh, with a, or, or just a lot of tofu in the diet or something like this because they want to bring up their uh, protein level and they want to bring up their estrogen level, that won't actually be causing cancer uh, because the phytoestrogens themselves uh, are not going to conflict and have the same issues mm -hmm. as a pharmaceutical medication. So please keep that in mind, uh, that there is a distinction between phytoestrogens. And there is some theory suggesting that phytoestrogens actually block uh, the estrogenic effects uh, of either pharmaceutical medication or in endogenously internally, uh, so they can have an anti-cancer property with uh, soy products. So I wanted to put that out there and make a distinction. Also, it's very politically charged to even suggest that uh, the pharmaceutical medications may lead to cancer. Uh, it's a little bit of a hot topic. So um, uh, there is there are conflicting studies at this point. I mean, nothing is definitive at this time. So uh, we don't, uh, in the public face, want to say too much uh, because of the controversy. Uh, however, uh, there is definitely a significant evidence that suggests that long-term estrogenic um, supplementation with pharmaceutical medications is a high risk for cancer. Mm -hmm. Okay, and also now we go back to uh, I didn't ex uh, on the before I didn't explanation the you know hundred feet or hundred match because on the old time you know like uh, on the um, we talked about Shang Han Lun that time okay actually the Bai He Bing is the on the Shang Han Lun. Uh, one of the oldest, uh, you know, the formula book uh, created by Dr. Chang. So then uh, why we be called that name then? Because uh, when people uh, during the menopausal, they go to see the doctor, they will be comparing different kind of syndromes uh, for, you know, every another day uh, or, you know, for just uh, switch. Uh, syndrome f from one to another one. For example, like I say, okay, today uh, they saw, you know, the doctor, they see the doctor, say, oh, I had DC. Okay. Then two days later, they say, oh, I had coughing. Then, you know, the three days, four days, then they say, oh, I okay, get insomnia. Then later on, they will be say, oh, I had, you know, uh, feel very fatigued. Okay. Uh, such like that. So there will be what is almost like, uh, you know, 100 different kind of disease. So then, uh, but happen in the one, I mean, on the same patient. So then they will be make the uh, doctor feel really complicated. You know why? Because, uh, oh, we, they cannot figure out, you know, uh, what's the problem then? Okay, so then they will be called that kind of disease. The name say is Bai He Bing. Then they say, oh, you know, just say, uh, it just has, you know, almost like hundred different kind of symptoms, that kind of sickness. So that's what they will be named that one of the herb, we uh, put it in the, uh, like, uh, uh, stop coughing and uh, calm the sun category. So we be put that name, is called Bai He. That actually is kind of lily, but... So we can show the, she can uh, make the by her imaging? Uh, we have it in the mm -hmm. uh, dried or in the uh, dried lily blood? Dry lily, uh, actually it's a lily, uh, not flower, uh, just say lily box. I will look, see if we have uh, <laughs> by Yeah, they just like, uh, you know, yeah, like uh, kind of white kind of, the, uh, I think probably we can, so we can look a little I bit. I will look yeah. around. Yeah. I have by uh, no, no, by her. I'm looking around. Uh, Lily bucks. I will uh, hunt around yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. for that. Mm -hmm. uh, there we go, by her. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. By her. So then they will be like in the uh, imaging, they look like kind of look like, you know, uh, seems look like dry uh, garlic slice. Actually, when they are fresh, the whole uh, by her. 
uh, if they not slice, it's very look like garlic. Then they, uh, because now, you know, the transportation is uh, easier uh, in season, uh, in the like Asian market. We actually can buy at the raw, fresh, buy her the lily bugs. Mm -hmm. People use it there for like um, uh, consuming like a vegetable. Tastes very good, even though somewhat a little bit bitter. But uh, we will be using that as a <coughs> major uh, food for. Uh, we say buy her, then we be treat the buy her bean. Uh, so we try to get the slide, but at the same time, uh, I can tell you the uh, recipe should be what is the by her that's the major herb or you know the food uh, in that recipe. Uh, but beside that, there will be sheng di. Yeah, the sheng di. So then the um, we <coughs> that actually that recipe is come from the. Um, Shang Han Lun is actually the formula, but now we be make that change in a little bit to be become a uh, something like uh, a recipe or syrup. Uh, people can be taking like uh, daily basics. It's not like a uh, uh, tea. Actually, there will be uh, something like a uh, uh, syrup. So then, when you do at one time. Uh, then you need you don't need to cook every day, so then you can be put in the refrigerator. Uh, is become a you know your own uh, something like a, um, herbal syrup. Taste is good, and also the effective will be same as like a herb tea, like a decoction. So that's what the uh, method we uh, want to do. So you can do it like uh, you one time uh, can be buy it like three pound was the buy her, like uh, sh before we show you in the market. So then the uh, it's not expensive too. The buy her they just couple dollar, uh, you know uh, probably you know ten dollar or fifteen dollar you can get like uh, uh, or twenty dollar something you can get three pounds, the buy her. Then another two pounds. Is Sheng Di, <coughs> Sheng Di Huang. We know that the Sheng Di Huang uh, is something look like uh, yam root. So then will be what um, in the market uh, they already prepare. So then they just make like a dry out. Okay. So then uh, we put that two pound of the Sheng Di Huang. And three pounds of the biker, uh, then we will be what to grind. Grinding is like a powder. Or another simple way, uh, you actually can order that from the uh, like a Mayway or herb store or any kind. So to buy it is just powder form or granule form. Okay, so then we'll be what then you just um, mix it together, and we'll be just. Cook them. Then, uh, after cook, then you be um, stir or mix it with the honey. So the honey we put it in here, say one pound, or uh, you can be adjust a little bit more or a little bit less. It doesn't matter. Okay. Then after that, you will be get something like uh, um, by her, sheng di, and um, you know the honey to be get the tang jiang. So then, actually, the cook way you sometimes you don't need to be uh very cook. You can be just put the powder. You put the very hot boiling water. You know you stir. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then will be what? Then you add the honey over there. Then we become a kind of like a thick kind of the uh, syrup. A gal. The yeah, like gal. Yeah. Then. Uh, of course, we put that kind of uh, dosage. Uh, is you know you put it in the jar, then you put it in the refrigerator. Um, 
each time, you know, like uh, before sleep or whatever the convenient time, then you be just eat two tablespoons or something or a little bit more. But need to be like uh, consistently or you know daily basics. That will be get egg fat. So that's what we uh, uh, on the before on a formula. So we just put the bai he and sheng di to boiling with the decoction. But that will be um, uh, much easier. But the same egg fat. So we be just take like uh, uh, of course we be what is the gao. Then uh, we will be what well, tastes better because also honey. But honey is what is also is twenty five the yin there. Okay, because basically we say that bai he, sheng di, feng mi the meaning honey. That kind of combination is nursing the yin, and also we be subside the symptoms uh, like uh, you know heart flush or insomnia or you know sweating. Uh, those kind of things, so we be uh, recommendation to try that. I think right. tastes pretty good too. Excellent, and Bai He is great for the heart yin, so hard to lose with that one. And Shang Di, of course, we use uh, in the gynecology and menopausal departments yeah. quite a bit. So mm -hmm. a very familiar tool for all of us to to get a handle on, uh, and a nice everyday honey that that mm -hmm. tastes good. So again, uh, me and me gao is honey, and gao is a thick syrup or paste or jelly. Uh, and so me gao is a traditional honey syrup and dietetics, and it helps to preserve and add flavor. Uh, remember, it's a different than uh, like um, guailing gao or other kinds of gaos mm -hmm. where you, you're cooking things down mm -hmm. uh, into a thick uh, syrup like the turtle product soups. Uh, mm -hmm. This is, gao can also be a thick syrup uh, paste or jelly as in honey. So mm -hmm. it's a little bit different here. Yeah. And uh, honey is uh, sweet, and it enters the lung, uh, spleen, and large intestine channels. Uh, mm -hmm. It's, uh, all right, so there, there are many, you, you mentioned this quite a bit, that honey had, can have different flavors, uh, but uh, slightly different temperatures too. So a honey is more warming if it comes from the lychee. Uh, if the bees uh, frequent orange uh, trees, it's uh, yeah. And more actually, neutral. yeah, will be recommendation. You probably use the local honey then. Um, actually, I tell you what, to uh, even though not that many people, but uh, in the past, uh, we even though had some uh, student, you know, um, before they get into the acupuncture school, so actually they are beekeeper. You know, make uh. the honey. It is. Uh, it, yeah, you know, there was a very famous beekeeper uh, down <clears throat> the road from Five Branches mm -hmm. uh, Institute uh, when I went there years ago, and I visited his home, and he uh, he had a, this green flag flying. I said, what's with the pale? It's celadon green, the traditional yeah. pale green color you see in crackled, glazed mm -hmm. uh, teacups and such mm -hmm. in Chinese medicine, celadon green, a very pale green. Mm -hmm. I said, why, why, why is that flying? He said, well... It makes the bees very peaceful. So <laughs> yeah. you won't get stung if you wear that. But if people mm -hmm. come with bright colors, they get yeah. very excited. Mm -hmm. uh, and I learned a lot from that beekeeper. Uh, and I, I deeply respect that issue. Another mm -hmm. reason why to have organic farming, another mm -hmm. reason uh, is we want to keep the health of the bees and not uh, continually add pesticides into the environment. Yeah, they actually say that bees, the number of the bees is uh, kind of go down for some big reason. Issue. The, you know, the worldwide that's the big issue for the, you know, the agriculture, okay? So mm -hmm. then actually, like, if we get the local uh, honey, uh, besides the, you know, the benefit, uh, like we mentioned general, 25 the uh, yin or, you know, the 25 the qi, but also, you know, we be what? Uh, have the allergy too. You know, local uh, honey? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> so again, uh, it's... It's a, a great way to help the immune system is, is using local honey and inoculating yourself locally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, again, local honey is excellent. Uh, moistens the lungs, stops coughing, lubricates mm -hmm. the large intestine slightly, uh, relieves constipation. You know, we use that in kind yeah. of dietetics yeah. uh, with walnuts lot, before yeah. bed mm -hmm. uh, for yang deficiency, uh, constipation, and a little honey and walnut, mm -hmm. uh, like the honey and water and mm -hmm. with some walnuts before bed. Mm -hmm. It's a traditional recipe in dietetics. Mm -hmm. uh, it does mildly tonify spleen and stomach chi. Remember, mm -hmm. not for children under one year of age. Uh, it's rare, but botulism uh, can occur from honey. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Uh, But uh, two to three teaspoons before bed for bedwetting for young children over one year of age Mm -hmm. and topical for canker sores, mouth ulcers, slow healing ulcerations Mm -hmm. and soothes burning sensations. So honey, something I think a lot of us love. Mm -hmm. Uh, Hard not to love honey. And so Mm -hmm. uh, definitely a favorite herb of the dietetics department. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, so now we'll be talking about the next slide. Uh, that will be related with uh, um, the uh, patient. Uh, I mentioned before already, when they, especially when they during the uh, menopausal, but actually it's good for anybody too. Okay, when we, they, we talked about the um, uh, insomnia, but due to the uh, blood deficiency. So then one of the <clears throat> recipe, so we be what? Um, we just use it uh, uh, like dang uh, gui, um, huang qi, gou ji zi, and gan chao, but we be cooked with uh, beef shank or uh, liver, I mean, what the pork liver is uh, optional. Okay, uh, some people can be, you know, without that because uh, we talked about <clears throat> why then? Because generally speaking, uh, in the uh, dietetic things, the beef uh, have many portion, uh, but when we use it for the dietetic, we mostly like it to use it that uh, beef shank. They have some reason over there, because we talked about the steak, or you know, uh, we talked about uh, many another part. But usually, when um, they are cooking for a long time, so then we be what they all you know lose the value or everything difficult to eat. Mm. And also, many is had something like a high cholesterol thing too, uh, in the modern concern. But the beef steak uh, will be what uh, is different kind of character. As long as cook them, uh, they will become more tender, uh, easier to eat. And also, they are had a lot of tendon, or um, they actually will be what uh, is not that high cholesterol, but will be had you know the collagen, those kind of things. So that's why we uh, talks about that. Uh, then the pork liver, uh, same thing too, you know, uh, uh, in general, we say it's high cholesterol, but for some people, uh, it occasionally eat that, that will be very strong to be uh, nursing, you know, like the eyes or like, you know, the blood deficient. So uh, the method we will be cooking uh, in order to make that is tonify the blood, but also good taste. So then uh, if we uh, use the pork, I mean, what the pork liver, so we don't need necessarily to be uh, put the pork liver to be uh, with the, um, uh, the herb tea together, cook it for a long time. You can do that, but uh, the pork liver will be not that good taste. Mm. Okay, so generally we say you will be just, you know, double boiling or whatever to put the dang gui, huang qi, gou ji zi. The soup is ready, then you put the pork liver couple pieces. Okay, the idea say look like a channel leading. Okay, because uh, you know the liver in the TCM will be what is later nursing the eyes or you know the uh, uh, storage the blood. Okay, so that's what we put that things in. Okay, then we be you know uh, when the up tea is almost ready then you put the pork liver so that will be what a very good taste and very tender. Jeffrey, that's the, one of the uh, math that we talked about. We that. decoct three to one, <clears throat> or we just cook for a little while with the herbs to make a more mild flavor. I know in dietetics, sometimes we'll not really cook down the herbs as much, make it a little milder flavor. Here we're going mm-hmm. to cook the dangui, the huangqi, the gochitsa, and the ganchao. Mm-hmm. Full decoction, three cups yeah, down full. to one. Mm-hmm. Then cook the pork liver in the decoction. Yeah, then you can take out, uh, you just, uh, you know, uh, uh, put all those kind of, because like gan chao, 
uh, Huangqi, uh, or even Dangui, you know, sometimes difficult to chew. Oh, yeah, take out the herbs. Take them out, okay? Yeah. Then you put the pork liver into it. Then you just, you know, like five minutes, something, you turn off the fire. So then the pork liver should be should very be tender. And, and beef like, shank a long time, though. We oh, yeah, cook with beef shank had to be different. Yeah. Beef shank, you need to just cook with the uh, herb together for a long time. Then in order to make them like, uh, you know, easier to chew and you don't waste it then. Okay? But of course, some people, if they don't like it, they kind of like a, a liver, I mean, pork liver, uh, to eat them, uh, you also do another method. To, you can just uh, send like a beef shank together to cook a uh, couple of pieces. Then later, you don't need to eat them. Mm. You just drink the soup. Then. Just drink the yeah, soup. Yeah, because we, like I mentioned, the idea just say, you know, the pork liver is something like uh, uh, when we do the uh, legular, uh, the herb, uh, you know, decoction, uh, we need to use uh, something called leading channel herb. Right. Okay, like, uh, for example, like Chai Hu, then we'll be leading to the uh, Shao Yang channel, to the Gao brother, to the liver. So that's what liver to liver, so then we'll be put you use the liver too. It's just an idea. So right. sometimes you, you know, patient concern about, that's what we used to be uh, in my practice too. The uh, patient will be asking that kind of concern. Uh, they, because they already educated by, uh, you know, the Western, uh, you know, nutrition. They say, oh, you know, the liver will be not so good because they have very high cholesterol things. Mm -hmm. Okay. But uh, like I mentioned, if we do like that way, we won't take that much cholesterol. But we still keep like uh, what the maximum, you know, the benefit from the herb. Then we need to be put some like that to lead into the channel. Okay, the beef too, because beef what uh, we talked about um, is warming herb and also it, it tonifies the blood, even though it's a red meat. Okay, but then if we know to how to control the amount or you know the method to do, it, it's still okay to take. For some people, they need to take too. So beef shank also has a special property of benefiting the tendons. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's another great dietetics mm -hmm. herb when we're cooking tendon to tendon. But that's when you usually uh, cook a formula like this with beef tendon as well as the beef shank in the yeah. formula. Mm -hmm. And we've gone over that okay. many webinars. Okay, so, uh, but actually we can uh, another option. So if people, you know, like a patient, uh, they are, for any reason, they are vegetarian, or they just don't want to take any kind of meat product, fight you. So now we give you another choice. Uh, it will be the same thing, we will tonify the blood, but, you know, it's uh, vegetarian, it's veggie, mm -hmm. you know, the uh, combination. So we go over that. Uh, one will be what we call Qian Chao. Actually, there's another name of the Jin Zhen Cai. Actually, we want to be um, get the imaging picture. Jin Chen Cai. Yeah, because Jin Chen Cai is the very good uh, uh, herb or whatever food. Is uh, uh, I think we had that packaging, you know, in the. Uh, and we see Jin Chen Chai a lot in uh, Asian restaurants. Yeah. I think I can pull that up. Or actually, I can show you. I, I bring that today. <laughs> All right. So uh, I will be looking for a little Jin Chen Chai in just a moment. Um, we also call that Tong Choi, no? Uh, no, not no, Tong different, Chai. Oh, it's, it's, it's a little that different. Jin okay. Chai is this one. This one. Actually, that is Lily. Oh, Lili okay. The Lily. Okay. I'm okay. okay. Yeah, I'm like sure. this yeah. one. So that would be the uh, lily flower. Oh, even better than my picture. Yeah, yeah so yeah. then uh, actually that, uh, if you know, the uh, now it's the dry one. Uh, that is very interesting. Uh, uh, tell you what too, uh, because the, uh, on the, uh, before when we go over the, like the veggie, you know, that pack, uh, I already mentioned that flower a couple more times. Uh, because that flower in the uh, uh, in the dietetic things is quite important, okay? Uh, Jin Zhen Chai actually is quite a bit interesting flower. Um, why then? Uh, I heard some uh, student told me 
uh, that flower actually can be available in the uh, in U.S. too. Uh, some gardener uh, they grow that, but they just have English name called day lily. Day lily. Day lily. Why call that then? Then because you know that is kind of lily flower, but. Uh, when we use it that like uh, for now for the uh, food or for dietetic, you need to pick that day lily uh, on the morning when the flower is not open yet. If they open, you know that flower is just only one day life, because uh, after you know uh, eight hour, so then the flower will be you know drop or something or mm. just uh, cannot use it anymore. So that's why you see that they uh, on the uh, packaging or imaging, they look like hey, the Jin Ying Hua, you know, like a honeysuckle. Right. Uh, then they will be just look like Jin Zhen, that's what the meaning they say, uh, look like golden needle. Okay, so then we be what? Uh, the taste is a little bit sour. Okay, so again too, because that, um, like now I bought that, or you know the may way that too, uh, some that will be look like kind of you know old or you know brown, but actually that's what the good quality. The good one again. Non-sulfur. And otherwise, if they are silver, then they will be very, very nice yellow. You know, look like uh, color very pretty, but that actually is not, that's the, not good the good one. stuff. Yeah. This uh, is loaded with iron, loaded with calcium, mm-hmm. and loaded with da- da- dairy fiber. So this is yeah. incredible. A three ounce mm-hmm. serving of daylily is thirty five percent of your daily iron, yeah, yeah. and thirty two percent of your calcium. So this yeah. is an incredible, mm-hmm. incredible herb mm-hmm. uh, to mm-hmm. use. Thank you for bringing that in, Jeffrey. Yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> so we talked about that is the major herb, okay? But uh, actually, that uh, uh, when we actually cooking that. Uh, vegetarian uh, twenty five blood uh, recipe. Uh, that lily flower you can put it in later. Okay, why then? Because that it don't need to take too long. Yeah, it's yeah. delicate. Yeah, delicate and easy to cook. But another ingredient like a what? Soybean. Then you need to cook longer. Then actually people will be, you know, more for economic or easier. You can put the uh, uh, soybean soaking in the water overnight. Then next day, uh, we will be cooking. Same thing, like uh, because we will be using the black rice or red rice, okay? Because consuming twenty five the blood or twenty five the kidney. So then same thing too, because they are uh, something like uh, uh, difficult to cook also. Look like brown rice, okay? Only just the color different. Okay, brown rice will be just like, uh, you know, the uh, white rice without polishing, okay? But then the, um, you know, the black rice or, you know, the red rice, the original had color like that, okay? Then they will be also, you know, is unpolishing. Uh, so on that situation, we need to be like, uh, uh, you know, with the um, soybean, uh, those rice soaking overnight. overnight. Then next day, then we be cook easier, okay. Then you also can uh, beside that you can be uh, put something hong chao or whatever another food you like it if they are uh, belong to the same kind of uh, the logic or idea. Then <clears throat> on the end, almost cook, done. Then we be put the uh, red sugar, you know, the brown sugar. And also the ginger chai. Because they don't need to cook that long. Okay? So we're cooking uh, a kunji. Yes. And we'll be doing uh, mo- the soybean and the rice mm-hmm. down into a kunji mm-hmm. with the peanuts. Yeah. The red uh, skin peanut, fresh red. red yeah, with the yeah. red skin on it. And now it will be easy to find that kind of red skin peanut, fresh one in farmer's market. But of course, you know, if difficulty, then we just get the, from the supermarket, you know, the red skin peanut. And uh, I also can uh, introduce another easy way too. 
you can just use it one of the uh, cookware uh, we call crock pot or whatever say slow cooker then uh, like uh, uh, the night before I mean you know you can be just uh, cook it at night time so you put all the beside the red sugar brown sugar and uh, ginger chai you put all the ingredients we mentioned you know the uh, rice or peanut and soybean together with the uh, little bit large number of the water then in the uh, slow cooker then cook overnight then we'll be very safe that you know time and concern because they never will be had too much uh, boiling or you know evaporated or any kind but actually now the uh, slow cooker I use it that too is clay mm. mm -hmm. so uh, then uh, very easy to be uh, operated control then they had the button say you know slow high warm and things like that so then you, you put it in the like uh, slow cook then you just sleep cook overnight yeah cook overnight without concern so then after that then you know next morning you already had congee to eat great so uh <laughs> yeah using the ceramic uh slow cooker Mm -hmm. Overnight is a great way to go for this. Uh, Zhuang Chao is another name for Jin Chen Chai, which is the daylily flower, which yeah. we covered. Mm -hmm. I should mention that mm -hmm. uh, with the red skin uh, peanut, soybean. Um, now, the red sugar, the hung tang, that is unprocessed sugar, not yeah. white table sugar. Yeah. You're going to find uh, that in the health food store. It's going to be called either Sukhanat or Rapidura. Oh, yeah. And those are you know, the health food store terms. Mm -hmm. Rapidor is slightly less processed. Sukhanat's a little more filtered. They'll still have that reddish brownish kind of color showing mm -hmm. all the minerals and nutrients still in the cane mm -hmm. sugar. Mm -hmm. So look for either Sukhanat or Rapidora. And those are just different names to processing sugar. Uh, you know, you're really just cooking down uh, cane sugar and then crystallizing it. So remember that uh, those forms. Uh, so keep, keep in mind that red sugar is, is a crystallization of squeezed sugar cane juice. Uh, white table sugar uh, is something that's been stripped of its minerals and nutrients. Uh, it also becomes more damp, uh, white sugar. Uh, so we want to avoid that. Uh, hung tang red sugar is sweet, warm, tonifies chi, and it's for patients with deficiency in cold. And it's often cooked with chicken especially for the elderly or people recovering from illness sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, an interesting aside, fresh cane juice is sweet and very cooling. But once it's been crystallized and then uh, dried uh, into hung tang, it becomes warming. So it can be sun-dried yeah. or industrial process dried. Mm -hmm. So a little bit about sugar. Mm -hmm. And peanuts are sweet and neutral uh, and they uh, are not warm like many other nuts uh, some nuts are very young like pine nuts mm -hmm. are very young we use it to tonify the mm -hmm. young and we like walnuts too for tonify young and lubricate intestines so here peanuts are sweet and neutral uh, they benefit uh, the lung spleen and kidney channels they go through that peanuts are special for leg chi uh, neuropathy swelling weak legs uh, peanuts also promote lactation and fit into the OBSGYN department. Uh, and many people cook with pork or chicken for leg chi. Uh, again, moderate consumption. Um, and also, I want to uh, more mention because the peanut, uh, if we you know, get the uh, fresh, the raw one is the best one. And otherwise, because you know, like now uh, the peanut is really common to use it for you know snack or you know in anywhere. So then they always like roast it. Yeah, the you know, roast it, and actually they put the, the uh, salt or some maybe put the spicy, and you know, put something the barbecue taste or <laughs> everything yeah, yeah. like that. That will be become a drunk food, okay? But even roasted. Without uh, flavoring, um, uh, that would be a little bit better. But because the roast is the problem, is what uh, uh, we need to be like. Uh, if your home roaster might be better because usually they on the machine they uh. will be you know not very uh, you know they want to be make the taste better. So then they will be put more high temperature. 
Ah, in order to make more like crunch, you know, yes, like the I taste, do. you okay, know, so high temperature. Yeah, yeah. So then we be somewhat make the inside the, because the peanut we be had a lot of oil. It dries out the oil. Yeah, then yeah. they actually might be make the oil we be has somewhat you know uh, chemically changed. Oh, rancidity potentially. Yeah, yeah. Or, because or too too high temperature. Too hot. So then, uh, okay. unfortunately, now uh, I think in the all the. Uh, like Safeway or any kind, do do we had uh, like a whole food? Probably we had fresh. Uh, yeah, we can get. Yeah, yeah, no problem yeah, with yeah. that. You can but get then the um, I saw many time in the uh, you know like farmers market, they will be had one you know the fresh one with the shell. Mm. <clears throat> right. That one I don't think we can say, uh, buy it in any Safeway. I think I've seen it in the health food stores. Oh, but yeah, not, health stores maybe. Not in a generic <clears throat> supermarket. Yeah. Not yet. You, coming. We, yeah, uh, coming. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, because uh, the Safeway, you know, it's an interesting store. It's improving, mm -hmm. and at least locally here in Santa Cruz County, has been getting more and more organics. So hopefully this is a trend. That's the dream, mm -hmm. is that organic uh, organics will spread throughout the world. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, my vision, of course, is starting from Santa Cruz County out, but you can envision that from wherever you are and wherever your farms are. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so more and more, but yeah. not yet, not yet. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I mentioned moderate consumption because people get the idea, we tell our patients, oh, this is good for this, this is good for that, it helps your leg chi, help. and yeah. they eat so much of it, and they say, it oh, it's so too good much for fat it. Oh, they eat too much of one food, no good. No yeah. idea of moderation. Yeah. Uh, and so we turn our patients loose by telling them something is good for them, and then they go wild with it. And I think too many peanuts no good. And also, uh, peanuts can be used for stop bleeding for the skin. Yeah, actually, the peanut. We I, I can add one more thing too, uh, because I uh, do that my, myself too. When I bought that, you know, the fresh one in the uh, farmers market with the shell, there we be what <clears throat> we actually just can put that all the you just wash a little bit. Then we be what we put it in the water, so then we be what uh, just boiling with a little bit slightly salt, okay? Or some people like it to put a little bit like hua jiao or something like that too. Then you just with the shell to boiling. Then after that, if you want to, you just eat that. You know, you uh, take off the shell to eat them. The taste is very good mm. and uh, it's really uh, good nutrition too. Because that kind of method will be won't damage any kind of, or won't make the you know the fat had I mean the oil had any kind of uh, transaction to another unhealthy right. oil. So then um, the taste I think uh, is very good to you. people want boil, to try boil it. The shell. Just boiling with the shell nice. with the water. So that's what the uh, good way to just you know eat the fresh and then uh, take peanut. the peanuts inside and the they shell. are ready like. Uh, uh, because it's different taste. If you buy a, you know, like uh, even though they say raw peanut uh, nut, but then you boiling, it's different taste like uh, with the uh, fresh one with the shell. Then they are very tender or, you know, very like Inside a bush the... or something like that. Nice. Kind of, yeah, taste. Uh, that's a very yin yeah. way of cooking. Mm -hmm. uh, steaming and boiling are yin methods of preparation, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we talk about that a lot. Mm -hmm. in Chinese medicine, mm -hmm. uh, yin, yin preparation methods, as opposed to kind of a deep frying, very mm -hmm. young, mm -hmm. uh, things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we, uh, oh, we are on the heart blood deficiency and anemia slide. Uh, <laughs> do, we, do we want to do this one next? Uh, or we can go back to the... Uh, oh, go back? Yeah. Okay, let's go, let's go mm -hmm. back to that. Uh, yeah. There yeah. we are. Yeah. yeah. We will be not uh, completely finished that yet, yeah, okay? Yeah. So then uh, we talked about that kind of uh, combination that we be what uh, we tonify the blood, but it's without any like uh, uh, meat product. It's kind of like a vegetarian thing. Because now I think uh, many people will be talked about uh, when they are doing the dietetic things, uh, something concerned about, you know, the animal, uh, you know, the meat, uh, whatever they have something like... Uh, chemical things, or some will be for religion reason, so then we need to be, um, uh, or the before, you know, the uh, TCM dietetic will be, uh, when we say, talks about tonify, we be use a lot of uh, animal product, but, you know, something can be changing too, uh, like uh, these things too. So we talked about uh, 
blood deficiency for the um, menstruation uh, after the menses. And also because title, we talk about anemia too. So those kind of uh, the recipe <coughs> is general good for uh, tumor cell, the blood. But if people who had the uh, insomnia problem, it's probably we need to be at something else too. Okay, so then didn't put on the slide. So then we will be what? Uh, basically, we will be put something like uh, uh, long yen roll. Mm. Okay, uh, because that will be what uh, can be help uh, uh, because general tonify the blood. Or <clears throat> if people want to be more focused on that insomnia things, so we will be eat those uh, soup or whatever those uh, kanji is not on the morning. Okay, uh, there will be what like uh, uh, dinner time. Okay, then we be add one more thing too. Uh, might be will be stronger, like fat. So there will be what uh, you can be used uh, sunjaran uh, to powder up, become a, like uh, powder. Then uh, you can add to uh, that soups. Mm, okay, much yeah, like a two or three chains, but the Suan Zhao Ren, you cannot eat too much then. Yeah, Suan Zhao Ren, uh, the flavor will not be quite right on mm -hmm. that, but uh, too strong. Yeah. And, but will definitely have a much more stringent property. It mm -hmm. will definitely prevent uh, night the, sweating, yeah, and some, hold yeah. the yin, yeah. uh, benefit the sleep. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, yeah, that mm -hmm. would, that would, but I could see where the flavor would be a little tricky. Yeah, but then uh, if a little tricky or not, uh, you can uh, use another one. Uh, there will be a bai zi ren. Bai zi ren. Yeah, and there ah, will be my. more flavor, like uh, what, like a uh, pine nut things. Yeah. Because they look like more like pie tree, that kind of flavor. So it's up to the patient. This is the idea. Bai zi ren. Yeah, that would work. But the uh, swan zi ren, I recommend using a little coffee grinder. Yeah, you know, yeah, to get yeah, the yeah. to get the active ingredients out, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. it really works great for Swan Zhao Ren. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, Bai Zhao Ren, I could see you could just put that directly in. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. remember it, it nourishes the heart. Yeah, but Bai Zhao Ren is great. It also moves the intestines a little. Has those nice yeah. oils in yeah. it. So you can't go wrong. With Look Bai like Ren. kind of small pine nut. Little, little. Yeah, but <laughs> little. Of course, taste is not that good like uh, pine nut. No, no. Yeah. But uh, but more yin. Uh, yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. I like pine yeah, I've yeah. always found but it very more handy. like a medicinal use. It. Yeah. So do do do. You yeah, want to we can the next do slide? the next slide. All yeah. right. So mm -hmm. let's do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so now uh, the another recipe. Uh, still talking about the uh, uh, deficiencies and uh, uh, you know the anemia things and uh, um, also uh, we'll be related with uh, uh, some patient who had uh, amenorrhea uh, that meaning what they don't have menses. no menstruation mm -hmm. no menstruation so on that condition uh, I can give you one or that kind of recipe <coughs> that's what the first one uh, so we'll be using dang gui dang shen and uh, another uh, product, uh, that will be the bird, I mean the uh, pigeon. A pigeon in the Western um, diet will be not that common. Do you think uh, we can buy it that uh, pigeon or in the Safeway or something in the um, supermarket? Maybe fine dining uh, butcher shops, mm. uh, we can get pigeon. Mm -hmm. uh, it's hard to cook. Uh, the, to get it just right, pigeon is a tricky one to cook because just a minute or two over and it won't it won't taste very good. So people have difficulty uh, with, uh -huh. with cooking pigeon. But of course, in a stew, it's easy. But if you're if you're roasting it or something, uh -huh. but yeah, more. Um, I think in Western cuisine, it's considered more fancy. Mm. Uh, so it's but, not uh, considered actually, standard. But mm -hmm. actually, we can be buy it that easily in the uh, you know the Asian market. Right. Because that's what they use it that for that kind of things. So then usually they are like frozen, you know, frozen uh, pigeon. Mm. Yeah, it's from you know U.S. Okay, or Canada. So then uh, we be what we of course defrost that uh, pigeon. So then we be with the dang gui, dang shen, and 
Another important ingredient will be Honghua. That meaning what? Saffron. saffron. Okay. Because the saffron will be what is immigrating the blood. That's what we will be, you know, use it that to hopefully can bring the menses out. So. And uh, don't forget, uh, beside those ingredients, uh, because we want to be, you know, that uh, recipe more like uh, uh, invigorating or make the, you know, blood moving. So then we be what? Another ingredient will be me jiu. It's important also in order to make that recipe, you know, more exact. But the me jiu, uh, uh, we need to explain that uh, because uh, it's alcohol content. So we need to be see how we handle that. That we need to be depend on uh, the uh, the patient uh, if they are sensitive to the alcohol. Then we need to be put the mijiu with the you know like a, for example we say put the tang gui, tang shen, hong hua, uh, then uh, the pigeon, the whole one. Then you put it in the same container, okay? Then we be what we put the rice alcohol. Okay, uh, then we be what to steam, because after that processing, the rice wine, the mijiu will be evaporated the alcohol content. Mm -hmm. Okay, then they will be just left over something like a, again, like we mentioned, it's like a channel leading things. So then uh, we don't need to that much, but we need to have some. Okay, the kind of uh, you know the uh, invigorating the blood. Okay, but if some people they can be handle the alcohol, uh, no problem with that. So then we can be make another stronger way actually. So then we be what you until the tang gui tang shen hong hua soup is ready. Then you will be what use it like uh, you know uh, for example like a half cup of the of tea or whatever that uh, you know soup then another half cup is the mi jiu then just mix it then just eat them okay that will be stronger but it depends on so if people you know sense it to the alcohol you don't need to do that okay then the mi jiu uh, what kind of mi jiu is good then so uh, we can be choice too okay so uh, it can be um, uh, more tonified will be related with like uh, Huang Jiu, you know, the yellow, yellow rice, rice wine. wine. Okay. But uh, if some people like it more higher uh, alcohol basics, you can use it the white rice wine too. That would be like uh, uh, something like uh, stronger, okay, Bai Jiu. Okay, so we can decoct uh, with water and then add the the rice wine, yellow or white end, rice wine, yeah. at the end for mm -hmm. for higher strength. Or yeah. if people are sensitive to alcohol, we can cook out the alcohol by cooking it in yeah, the decoction to, to mm -hmm. make it a little more mild. This is just a quick recap mm -hmm. uh, for our pigeon dish. Mm -hmm. So then after that uh, method, we say, you know, sometimes, you know, you do it like uh, one day you probably still not get the dissolve. So you probably have to be on the road to do it a couple of days. So then... Uh, for something like uh, amenorrhea, if they are due to the uh, blood deficiency or a little bit mild uh, blood stasis, so then we we'll be expecting the menstruation might come. Uh, so that's what the uh, slide on the first uh, recipe. Help to uh, bring back the menstruation mm -hmm. uh, due to amenorrhea is a nice dish with pigeon cooked with dangui to. Mm -hmm. Dang Shan Hong Hua, and also rice wine. And pigeon. <laughs> well, yeah, the pigeon. So. Pigeon, okay. Uh, and because yeah, actually, you can find it. Yeah, yeah, we can find it, right. Because actually in here, you're not necessarily to eat them too. You probably just send them again, just like, uh, you know, to make the... Flavor the soup. Flavor and right. also make the, you know, the chi or make the function stronger. So we well, can strain the out the Hong Hua, yeah. we strain out the Dang mm -hmm. Shan Dang Gui. Mm -hmm. And, the, mm -hmm. and even the pigeon does not have to be eaten. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're making just a flavorable, flavorful broth for people in this mm -hmm. dietetics preparation.
Yes. Okay, uh, again, uh, next when we will be talking about, you know, we say tonify uh, blood. Uh, in the TCM, we have very famous uh, formula. The name we call Si Wu Tang. Uh, they meaning what? Four substance. I think every acupuncturist, or even though the patient, the general public, because they can be buy at that Si Wu Tang in the uh, supermarket. Like a supermarket. Yeah. They put it in the uh, like uh, uh, packaging to including those four up. That four up there will be what uh, I think I don't know, there will be the uh, king up is Shu Di. Then we be had Dang Gui, we had Chuan Xiong, then we had Bai Xiao. That is the original classical Four substance is the basic formula for tonified blood. Any tonified blood uh, category, those formula will be basic on that. But now we will be talking about because that kind of four substance, I think the taste, the flavor is quite a bit strong. Okay, is not really like a food, <laughs> not like any kind of food. Is totally is uh, like the caution of the earth. So now we be had something in the uh, food. We research and we get something like a good food. Uh, the character or the function will be similarity like that for substance. But the uh, taste is much easier. And also we say that it's no side effect at all, too. Even though, you know, like a uh, false substance, if you take too long, it still will be a problem. We, because they are, you know, uh, will be make you more like uh, uh, the body will be more like warming. Okay, then you might be get something side effect like a what? Pimple or something like a uh, little bit bleeding problem. Okay, or sore throat, those things. So then, uh, generally speaking, we say that kind of uh, four substance. It's okay to take a while, but cannot take it too long, man. But now uh, we can see the slide. Uh, I can be get something like a vegetable. The function will be similarity, but of course they are, you know, kind of mild. So we need to be take it for a long time but without any concern, okay? It, it actually, you do, as many as you can take will be what? It's good for your body anyway, too. So we can go over that. The first one, we do that again, jin zhen chai. Jin zhen chai, mm -hmm. the lily flower. Yeah, the lily flower, so that will be what? It will be match, just like uh, shu di, shu di hua. All right. So okay, so then we be what? is tonify the blood. And I'll get our daylily cam going. Uh, let's see if I can get that up here. And, and there's our live daylily day cam. Chin Chen Chai. All right. Great. Very really good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so again, that's our equivalent. We're doing equivalents here. Mm -hmm. in the listing of the formula, so mm -hmm. daylily. Mm -hmm. Then the next one, there will be what? Uh, we will be using the chuan shong to invigorate the blood. It's not only tonified blood. So then the chuan shong is very strong, okay? And also, that's what the side effect usually from the su tang come from that up. Because chuan shong can be what? It because too spicy, too warming and can be, you know, make some people have side fat. Mm -hmm. So now we be what? We use the veggie to substitute that, but we will be remain in working the blood, that kind of function. So what's that then? That will be hay moor. Hay moor. Mm, again, so then the hay moor, uh, we say, uh, it doesn't matter how much you can eat them without any concern, okay? So then they will be what uh, people will be 
uh, is kind of mushroom. So when any kind of mushroom, generally, it doesn't matter Western or Eastern nutrition that you'll be considering is good. Okay, but then the hay mower, uh, people will be not ready, uh, you know, to use it that because they are not as good taste as like a shiitake. Because shiitake mushroom, every, now the, you know, the whole world will know that yeah, because the, uh, you know, the good taste, so then will be more popular. But the hay mower will be what is not that much tasty, okay? But then the function, I can say, the hay mower, the black mushroom, it should be much stronger than the shiitake. Mm. But if you want to make that, you know, soup, the taste better, it's okay to put something, you know, we put the hay mower is the major, but you also can to put some shiitake mushroom to be put in here too, to in order to make the taste better, okay? But then when uh, all those ingredients, you need to eat them then. It's not only just, uh, you know, make a soup, okay? So then will be what you eat as many, a same thing too, is the hay mua is the better. Then another ingredient uh, we will be considering, like uh, dang gui. Then we will be what we will be substituted by soybean sprout. But that's not the lu dou ya, okay? It should be huang dou ya, because the function will be even though they both is a sprout, okay? But the function is different. Because the Lu Dou Ya, you know, the, uh, that's what the mostly common, uh, you know, the sprout, the product in the, uh, in the market. Why then? Because the, uh, you know, like uh, uh, any kind of Chinese restaurant, when they use it for cooking something, uh, they always just choose the Lu Dou Ya instead of Huang Dou Ya. Uh, because the reason, just say, the sprout is very easy to eat. Because the uh, mung bean sprout, uh, the mung bean is very small, so then, you know, will be mainly it's just a sprout, so will be easy to chewing. But the Huang Dou Ya is the bean sprout, so then the whole bean still remain in the top of the sprout. So then it will be difficult to be chewing. Okay, so that's what uh, some people will be, don't like it. Okay, but uh, if we, uh, to be uh, analysis, the, what is the ingredient in the comparison, like uh, Lu Dou Ya and Huang Dao Ya, what different then? Okay, then Lu Dou Ya will be have a lot of function, just like we learned the Mang Bin. So they will be what, very cooling. Okay, uh, then will be what is uh, good to be uh, uh, like a, uh, make salad or, you know, or cooking, but then they will be um, not that much like, uh, uh, because the Huang Dou Ya, Whatever the soybean, the the bean, they will be have a lot of, still like a soybean, we be have a lot of female hormones, somewhat, you know, plant female hormones. Phytoestrogens, yeah. yes. And also because they are, after that kind of, um, you know, the um, germination, so then they will be able to make easier to observe by the body to be uh, that kind of hormone, because they have somewhat already changing. So then people will be eat them, will be easier than the, you eat the soybean. Now that's interesting. Yeah, it is because they kind of, they already do like semi uh, cooking already. Okay, so we consider that another dietetics preparation mm -hmm. having making a sprout mm -hmm. to make it more uh, absorbable. Yeah. Uh, by, by the body. Yeah, like we talk about the stomach is a shui gu zi hai, is something like uh, cooking. You know, the food, the raw food, when we're taking into the body, 
So then the stomach will be what is like, uh, you know, um, we call middle jaw or whatever, you know, triple burner, you know, then will be like burner. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so then, so I've been sprout, then will be what they already to make the energy to be semi cooking already. All right. Mm -hmm. So that's what we will make easier. So then we be like a tang gui, we know that too is has somewhat like female hormone fat. So that's what we comparison with, uh, like, uh, uh, you know, the Huang Dou Ya, uh, we be, you know, match that. All right, so we have uh, number three on our mm -hmm. comparison to Su Wu Tang, leading us into tofu, I guess, for our last one. Yeah, the last one is tofu. Then we be what, you know, tofu is uh, like a Y, okay? Uh, then we be cooling. Um, then actually still is come, you know, from the soybean, but it's just processing already. So then we be what is somewhat like a bai xiao. Okay? So the bai xiao will be what in the TSM is a peony, you know, the flower root. So then they will be uh, tonify the blood, but also be cooling, and also we be have somewhat a little bit like astringent you know, the nature. So the tofu will be... <coughs> a little bit stranger. Yeah, match that kind of character. So that's what we mentioned. If you put the, you know, those uh, four ingredients together, whatever the method you want to, but generally speaking, we will be uh, make soup again. Okay, but people, sometimes they can be made like saute if you, you know, boiling with just, you know, eat the soup too much. Uh, too long, then you want to be changing, so then you can be. Or steaming, okay? Or the season, you can season it. You can put something like soy sauce or, you know, any kind of the paste, okay, to be uh, match or to cook. So that will be what uh, we say can be like a substituted, the powerful uh, tonified blood formula like a si wu tang. All right, so this yeah, one we can make a soup, better. we can steam it, <clears throat> we mm -hmm. can even saute in oil. Yeah. All right, uh, we're getting loose today, Jeffrey, allowing mm -hmm. sauteing. Sometimes we don't saute, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what oil would you saute in? Rice oil or uh, olive oil or not matter? Actually, uh, no, uh, I think when we talked about the oil before, uh, uh, I will be recommendation, we be use it like uh, something like a Camellia oil better because you know now in the mainstream, everybody you know educated say you know when we so let the oil, it's supposed to use something like uh, uh, olive oil or whatever canola oil. That's right. what the doctor recommendation, but those oil you not really can saute because the you know the uh, they break down in the heat. yeah, yeah. The, you high heat and they will be become a smoke. Then actually be. Uh, you know, concession to some kind of, you know, the uh, bad uh, things for the human body when you inhale or when you even eat them. That's what they say. Oh, okay, you cannot cook them, but you can be used for salad. That's true. Okay? Yeah, and, you know, unsaturated fat, oil, is good oil. But you not really can be used for saute. Isn't it? I think so. So then, uh, but the... Uh, uh, the camellia oil or whatever you call tea oil, uh, they actually, if you not make too high a temperature, it's okay to saute, okay? Because they are not that easy to be like a breakdown like, a, uh, you know, like olive oil or canola oil. Tea oil is something I happen to like a lot. Mm -hmm. I, I don't always find it in the store. I'm always looking for it. Mm -hmm. And I've had really good nitrogen-packed uh, mm -hmm. tea oil, mm -hmm. fresh. Mm -hmm. It does have a little bit of caffeine in that tea oil, mm -hmm. so you will feel it. But it has such a nice aroma, mm -hmm. uh, and it's such a wonderful oil, you know, uh, green tea oil. So it, it looks mm -hmm. like green tea, you know. Um, yeah. So tea oil is uh, is excellent to cook with. It does ha it does handle heat relatively well. It has mm -hmm. a decent smoke point. Once you yeah. see that smoke coming up off the oil, it is now a little bit carcinogenic and it's breaking down yeah. the oil into mm -hmm. some uh, rancidity uh, issues occur. 
Uh, so we don't want to break down an oil. Once you see smoke rising off of it, that is a problem. So mm -hmm. tea oil does take the heat mm -hmm. relatively well. Yeah, better. So of course it's still not too high a temperature then right. to be, but still you know like uh, you know keep the temperature is kind of low. But then you know it would be not as like uh, easier to be you know the smoke point you know not that uh, yeah a little more flexibility yeah there's mm -hmm. more latitude with tea oil and so mm -hmm. look for that and you'll you'll love once you cook with tea oil it's it's a lot of fun yeah. because it mm -hmm. it really adds a lot to the flavor and gives something really special mm -hmm. uh, so I, I really like tea oil mm -hmm. okay uh, so then uh, uh, I think probably we. Um, uh, it's almost 11 o'clock. Yeah, so we take a little break. Take a Let's take break. a little yeah. break, everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, we have a couple questions before the break. Yeah. Uh, one of them was, are we taking a break soon? So if it's uh -huh. pre-recorded, take a break whenever you want. This is a live <laughs> one today, perhaps. Then uh, we'll mm -hmm. go in about two minutes. But I did have a quick question. What about peanut oil? Uh, is that a good one to cook with? Peanut oil. Uh, peanut oil? Uh, yeah, it's uh, it still belong to like a little bit more saturated fat, but we be not as bad as like uh, you know some another uh, oil. So then uh, when we alternating, when we you know actually the oil when we use it for uh, cooking, uh, we won't want to be just use it one oil every day. So we need to alternating, you know the oil, so to get a little bit different kind of nutrient or ingredient things. So then uh, peanut oil actually is not too bad, okay? So then um, <coughs> it's considering similarity like uh, corn oil or something, that kind of thing. So occasionally we'll be used that, okay? Uh, then uh, sometimes we'll be used uh, peanut oil, but sometimes we'll be used, uh, uh, you know, uh, camellia oil if we can get. Or actually I can tell you another oil will be interesting too. You know what, Honghua oil? Honghua oil. Or saffron oil. They that call, I haven't had, yeah. Uh, actually, it's not the, from the, uh, what, uh, not from the Tibet or from the Spanish, that kind of saffron. Right. It's safra, right? It's right. a little bit different being, uh, oh, you know. Oh, safflower. Yeah, safflower. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> not <laughs> safflower. <laughs> That's too much Safflower oil, good uh, good in polyunsaturated fats, excellent. It, it is, yeah. Really actually, well. that is exactly from the, you know, the uh, Honghua, you know, the Sichuan Honghua. Oh. It is. Safflower oil. Yeah. To get the oil. Ah. Yeah, it is. So then we be what? Has somewhat effect like uh, Ben Hua. Benefit the blood, move the blood. Inmercuring the blood. Really? Yeah. All or right. we can be get research on the internet to see that kind of, uh, you know, uh, safra. Safflower oil. Oil. All yeah, right. I think so. This should be come from the Hong Hua. All right. We'll take yeah. a look at that. And, yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 we actually, it's not that popular, but it, it can be able to buy it in the market. Uh, you know, go to look at that, and they will be selling, you know, safra oil, not saffron. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. um, all right, here it is. Um, I'm even seeing it on the web, mm -hmm. uh, you know, different health sites are saying it helps prevent heart disease. Uh -huh. So very interesting. Uh, mm -hmm. Safflower mm -hmm. seed oil. It's, yeah, it's from the seed. That yeah. Flower, seed. Actually, safflower, it should be like Sichuan Honghua. So that's why they are, you know, not that expensive. If real saffron flower, I think will be very expensive because real saffron flower itself is already very, you know, expensive. Then you make the oil, I guess, is very, very expensive. But, you know, the Honghua is come from like Sichuan Honghua or something. That is the uh, safflower oil. So that will be, I don't think will be expensive. Okay, that will be similarity like uh, uh, might be uh, somewhat like olive oil, those kind of price, or even cheaper. So it's similar. Similar. Uh, it's similar, and mm -hmm. uh, according to what I'm reading right now, and I'm mm -hmm. looking it up, that the safflower is kind of related to saffron, that yeah. idea. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So very interesting stuff. Mm-hmm. So, um, mm-hmm. but share. So it share, share similar properties and it is like a yeah, Honghua. Yeah, like a Honghua. All right. Mm-hmm. They will be in real green blood. That's why we say we be uh, have the you know like something the hot to see or something. Uh, that you know that's the same Western properties. Things, but yeah, we yeah. say that because the in real green blood. Like the like the Honghua. Yeah. So that that something uh, for me that's new and we it's been popular in healthy cooking in the United States for a while. So it's easy to find. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which is also excellent. Mm-hmm. So a few, few few nice oils. Rice oil is used a lot with frying because it takes super mm-hmm. high heat. Mm-hmm. But you're not recommending rice oil here. Uh-huh. Uh, rice oil? Oh, rice oil is good too. It's okay? Yeah. All right, so rice oil is very good too. They are uh, usually called mi uh, kang yo or whatever, you know. The uh, I think Japanese make that too. Right. Uh, from that. It's good too. And the more refined an oil, the higher uh, the heat it can take. Just be careful how you refine an oil matters. If it's done through uh, a chemical process, uh, then you get in big trouble. So oil is very good to buy uh, organic oil brands because how an oil is purified uh, matters enormously. And that's a huge topic that we've done in dietetics quite a bit about oils. Yeah, the uh, oil it's, is it's really in the, important. It's in yeah. our book, too, Chinese Medi- uh, Medicine Dietetics, Volume yeah, 1, yeah, all yeah. about the smoke points and all mm-hmm. about... Uh, different oils and what they do. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm learning a little bit today about safflower oil, which has always yeah. been an old favorite of mine, a very mm-hmm. neutral flavor when cooking. Mm-hmm. 